Hey y'all, Martha here. I just wanted to pop in and share my fun news with you today. I won a giveaway from Edith at Crafty Endeavors and I'm really, I was so excited to find out I won and I'm still excited. I won a lot of fun stuff. But first, let me share with you her beautiful card that she sent me. Isn't that gorgeous? With all the layers and the bling. Such a sweet message. Dear Martha, I hope you like all the goodies. Thanks for playing, Edith. Yes, I love all the goodies. And I love this card too, it's just beautiful. Thank you. So we'll start with the this stuff here. So first I've got these wooden little uh, laser cut craft icons. So we have leaves and I never did buy these. So these are something new to me. And these are um, little metal embellishments. Those will be cute. And little charms you can put them in. Very cute. And I might put those on an ATC or something. That is, in, yeah, that's really fun, interesting. And another, um, a Dollar Tree stamp set, which I'm excited about. I have I don't have too many Dollar Tree die sets. I mean, not die sets, stamp sets. And this is one of the ones I don't have. And then we have these little frames. And um, this looks like a little lock. And this just looks like a, a corner piece or something like that so this will be fun to figure out how to use this too they're metal very cool looking now she sent me this envelope too and it's got lots of good stuff in it for journaling or well whatever you want to use it for so let me open it up and pull it out. I haven't opened this part yet, so I don't know exactly what's in here. But we're going to see together. And, well, I would like to keep this and reuse it if I can get it loose without having to cut it. There we go. So I can save this piece of twine. So, we got some, like, trim, like from, I think it's from a book. We'll go good with journaling, which I'll probably use mine in an art journal and a pretty stamp. I like that. And then we have some, um, I guess those are plums. Little pictures and little pieces of ephemera, like from magazines and the paper and papers and stuff like that. And we have this card. Oh, uh, where's my magnifying glass? Uh, where's my magnifying glass? Well, I can't really see, but it looks like it's kind of um a vintage advertisement card or something looks like it's in a different language and there's a pretty plain card that's different here's some more ephemera and cute pictures oh this is in a different language oh isn't that a cute picture to use so this was a journaling package. We have some um, aged pages from a book. Oh, and an old envelope. Well, if I had my magnifying glass, I could tell you the date. And I don't know why it's missing. Oh, here it is. 
right in my face. Let me see if I can see a date on here. It looks really old. Uh, I'm not seeing a date. But it's a different country and a different language. And um, you can tell it's been used uh, typewritten on a typewriter. So I think this is vintage. Oh, here's another post. 29 July and the date is rubbed out. I can't see it, unfortunately. And then we have a postcard. I'll, re I'll enjoy reading that, but I won't take your time up reading it right now. Some music pages. Some cartoon pages. Another playing card. Some more oh, pretty little birds from a book. Some more aged book pages. And some, another envelope. It looks really old as well. I know the dates are worn off. A postcard. It's like from the Alps. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, that's nice. And so we got some more pictures and pages. Oh, these are nice. All the different birds. I like that. So you could just make a journaling card out of that or you could fussy cut them. Another one. These are all in a different language. I don't know if that's German or Swiss or what it is. Another music page. Looks like a, a, it is an index. Some more. I think that might be German. I'm not sure. I, I really... It's hard for me to tell. I don't know that the look of that language, but here's a pretty, that's a pretty, uh, looks like a constellation map. Some more pages. These are very cool looking. These look like some math. Some dictionary pages. Oh, look at that old picture. That's very cool. Birds. Oh, it looks like a fox and a bat. Some bugs. And it looks like it's their definition too. Here's, um, I guess that might be another index page, book page, music, this is cool, most of these are in a different language. Another, I think this is a dictionary page, oh this is cool. Got pictures of stamps. Mm, like a little graph. More book pages. Oh, uh, this. Oh, I don't know. That might be. Kind of feels like origami paper. It's like some poems in a different language. Another book page. Pages with pictures. There might be a dictionary page. 
pretty sure that's what this is too. Dictionary. Some very nice old pictures in them. You can tell a lot of this is vintage. This looks like a quilt pattern book, maybe. Mm, that's just it's like old machinery. That's cool looking. I gotta sit down and look at these a little more closely. More math. Book pages. Music. So believe me, I will make good use of these. If I don't make a junk journal, which I haven't done yet, and I've been doing art journaling. Oh, this looks like um, telling you about the parts of flowers. This is pretty. Got a nice, a lot of nice pictures on it. Ooh, look at that. Dinosaurs. Two more comics, and that's it. So this is what I won from Edith at Crafty Endeavors, and I really appreciate it, Edith. It was fun looking through it, and believe me, it will be well used and well loved, because I will probably use it in my art journaling, and I'll have fun trying to see what I can use these for and my stamps and i love it all and i love the card thank you so much and i will put uh edith's channel in the description go show her some crafty love and uh, subscribe and comment and also do that for my videos if you're not subscribed please subscribe and i thank you so much to all my new subscribers and I will be seeing you again soon. Bye now.